Hey beautiful, I just wanted to show you what I was doing before I, you know, was prepping for my next set. So I was soaking my nails and I thought this part was really satisfying. So I just wanted to share this with you. See how that's just flaking off? That's how your acrylic should look. So that is done. I still have a tiny little bit on my thumb. See how it just comes right off like this? It's flaking right off. That's just coming off in one piece. This is the end result. So that just flaked right off. I do have a little bit left on here. So I'm gonna go in a little bit longer with these and some on there. And I'm gonna douse this in cuticle oil and wash my hands with nice warm water and then get started. Okay, so I'm all done. So I'm just gonna go in here and just like even out my natural nails real quick so that I can get into prep. You can also do this with your e-file, but I, I'm just gonna do this real quick. I try to keep it one direction on the natural nails so they don't split. And done. All right, so my main focus is gonna be removing the cuticle, and that's the dead skin around this cuticle area off of the nail plate. And then for the rest of the nail, I'm just gonna buff them this time. We're gonna try that out and see how the nails hold up, okay? Or how the enhancement holds up. Because you really don't need all you need to do is etch your natural nail. We don't need to go in there too much. So I want to try that out. So like I said, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this cuticle around your cuticle area. And this is just going to keep your canvas nice and clear of anything that's gonna get in the way of the adhesion to your natural nail plate or the acrylic to your natural nail plate, okay? So I'm gonna go here and do that here. This is also nice because it's pushing, it's also pushing the cuticle back at the same time. This is a square bit, a uh, cuticle bit that I got from, I believe I got it on Amazon. I don't remember, I'm so sorry. But it'll be listed there if I got it on Amazon. So I have that at about six, 6,000 RPMs on my e-file. And there you go. All right, so I've done both hands and I've literally only gone around the cuticle area and just lifted and removed that dead skin. And just with that bit at 6,000 RPMs. Hold on. You could probably go in at six at five thousand RPMs. You don't need to go at six thousand RPMs. So I'm gonna use this as a background because you can see a lot better. 
Okay, so I'm trying to avoid um, damage. That's what we're doing here, right? So I'm gonna take my, hold on. So all I'm going to do is take a buffer. It's going to make the process a lot easier and smoother. And I think, if I'm correct, um, you know, with the e-file, we tend to like apply pressure and it's already rotating at such a fast um, RPM, obviously, along with the torque. That strength is going to dig into your nail. So I'm going to try just lightly going over. I think, let me see, this is the one, this is the 100. So I'm going to go over with the 180 grit side and just go over lightly, just light pressure. That's it. And we're going to etch the entire nail and then be done because that's all it needs. So see here, like if you see anything extra to remove and do that, but all we're doing is making sure that we have an etched clean canvas free of any dead skin or anything on there and then that's it that's it that's all we should have to do right i'm gonna go through again and that's it Sorry, it's trying to get a better view. So see? That's it, so we're just trying to etch. Make sure you get all of that debris out from in the, the grooves of the nails and the surface. So that's nice and clean. That's gonna be so pretty. Um, I did get her magic glue, but I was gonna try it, but I'm not gonna risk it because I tend to break out when I use nail glue. Um, so I will leave that when I'm doing someone else's nails. So I'm just gonna go in with some, probably some base coat. I'll show you a trick. Oh, I got this on Amazon. Highly recommend, it's so cute. But I want to show you a trick. I want to remove this and then glue it to make them as short as the other ones. So like if I'm going to put this on this way, because they tend to get really long when you get to the bigger sizes. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I had to stop talking through on the video because I had laundry going amongst other things. So this is just going to be a voiceover portion. I'm going in with this prep set by Tones. I do leave the link in the description box for you if you're interested. And so I'm just going in with their prep solution and then their Ultra Bond. And I'm also going in with their 100% Kalinsky brush monomer and also Perfect White. I love working with it. 
it is really nice to work with you guys know that you know a lot of whites are difficult to work with so this was really nice and so i'm just going to show you one nail because everything is the same and you know i just wanted to make this video a little shorter because i've been um paying attention to the watch time uh for you guys like on the analytics and just trying to accommodate everyone really so i'm going to do this nail and basically this nail throughout all of them but then i'm going to go in with some 3d nail art with party diva also by tones and then and then that's it i thought it would be nice for you guys to just watch me through the rest or watch me work through the rest of the video and um yeah just keep it simple i try to remember to show everything that i'm using but if you do have any questions on anything that I'm using and I didn't show it, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you like the end result, show me by hitting that like button before you go. It helps me out a lot. It is a free way to support. I appreciate it. And also I announced the giveaway winner on my community tab. So congratulations, Bree. I will be having more giveaways or doing more giveaways very soon. So stay tuned for that. And that's it. I appreciate you for taking time to be here for clicking on this video and for showing love and support i would also love it if you guys would head on over to instagram and follow me there we have a really nice community it is nails by jemmy lita jemmy lita and also don't give up on learning and trust the process <laughs> i love you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye